Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this mountain weather update. Uh, the question on what's next, it's all about the jet and where it's moving and it's headed back to the Pacific Northwest. That's what's going to drive the pattern for the next 7 to 10 days. So that will favor the Pacific Northwest, BC, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming for most of the snow. That's where the flow is going to be directed. Um, so I'm actually thinking that we're going to see a weak to moderate intensity atmospheric river for that Pacific Northwest Coast area, Washington State and probably Oregon, maybe even BC as well. I'll show you that forecast coming up. Uh, but it is a warmer flow, and that means snow levels are going to be particularly high, especially to start. So that will limit a lot of the snow accumulation, just, just, just the very highest volcanoes, the highest peaks. Um, so we'll look at those levels, and this happens 11.2 to 11.6 in the forecast. I did write about it um, today on my blog, ChrisTomer.com, Atmospheric River Hits PNW, 11.2 to 11.6, take a look at that. And it was a gorgeous day today. Uh, that's a, uh, a photo from Crested Butte today where they picked up about uh, two feet of snow. This was an amazing storm cycle, this final cold front that nailed Colorado. We had anywhere from 20 to 30 inches of snow in the Elks, Crested Butte, Snowmass, a lot of the Schofield Pass, a lot of those areas got nailed, about a foot up around uh, Loveland, a basin, Berthed Pass, uh, Vale. This was a really good storm for Colorado. Um, so there's the current setup. I'll show you what that looks like here. So this is water vapor. Look at this. Well-defined area of low pressure. It's also a low here. And reds and oranges represent drier air aloft. Let me show you what the jet's doing right now. So it kind of looks like this. It's coming up and around, and then it's, it's down into the lower 48. So what's going to happen is this whole complex is going to move towards the Pacific Northwest, BC, Banff, Northern Tier, and it's all of that moisture that's going to get steered onshore. Very rich flow. In fact, let me show you what uh, potentially, I think I might actually have the forecast for the atmospheric river. I'm going to take it full here, see if I can find it. Yeah, so let's go right here. So the atmospheric river forecast um, this was updated uh, today, and you can see the spike in a weak to moderate intensity atmospheric river on the 1st into the 2nd, and then again on the 4th, 3rd into the 4th, and potentially again 5th into the 6th. So that duration, roughly um, 2 to 3 surges between 11.2 and 11.6 in the Pacific Northwest. Definitely worth noting. I talked about it on my blog this morning. Um, this is what's called integrated vapor transport. You can see it's reaching all the way back into the Pacific near Hawaii and bringing all of that moisture, that entire surge, into the Pacific Northwest. And then eventually this is going to move south. But uh, that's the IVT forecast. That is the forecast um, from this morning. What I showed you was updated to that. I also looked at the forecast rain snow line in Washington State and also Idaho. It starts high. Max and men's, you can see by day, 10 and a half thousand feet. So, you know, at that point, you're really talking about Rainier getting most of the, most of the snow um, higher up on the mountain. But then it does fall, you can see, to 79 and 10,000. And then on the third and the fourth, we're all the way down to 6,600 and 7,400. Idaho, it does start high, 10.5 on 11.2, um, but then it does fall a little bit on 11.3 and 11.4. I want to show you what the jet's going to look like. Take this full. So initially, and I've got a wide view here, this is 11.2. You can see how the jet's reaching way back into the Pacific and cruising up into the Pacific Northwest, steering everything into that area, slamming it up against uh, the Cascades. So that's 11.2. This is 11.5. Look at that powerful jet. The orientation is still favoring the Pacific Northwest and BC and Northern Tier for most of the snow. But this is very interesting to see. You know, I look at this and I think, okay, if this is probably what we're going to see, but a little further south this winter. That whole type of pattern will drop south and it's going to favor California and the Southern Tier of states maybe even parts of Utah and Colorado this winter. So we'll see that, but it's just going to drop further south this winter, and the subtropical jet will be the main player. Um, let me go back and see if there's anything else I missed here. Uh, we talked about the jet. Okay, we'll get into forecast snowfall here. So phase one is... Uh, tonight through the 5th of November. A couple of feet up on Rainier, obviously, that seems 
like a given and less in the Pacific Northwest because of the high snow levels. So you're really going to have to go high to get the snow. Whistler, again, high snow levels initially, and then they'll gradually fall. Um, snow for BC and Banff and snow across the northern tier, Wyoming, Montana, Idaho. I think Jackson Hole, Grand Target, and the Tetons does fairly well out of this 1030 to 115, although it mainly, this is mainly happening 112 to 115 as far as the surges go of atmospheric river moisture. Let me take into phase two. This is 11.6 through 11.8. Whole thing kind of shifts a little further to the south, and we're looking at additional snowfall across the Tetons. So, I mean, bet between periods, one, I mean, there's, let's just say, um, there's seven in Jackson Hole and another five. So we're looking at a foot, you know, a foot of snow in Jackson Hole or more in the high Tetons during this these two time frames. So um, that, that, appear, that that sort of northwest, west-northwest flow tends to favor that area anyway. A little bit of snow drops into Colorado. Let me take you back to the initial phase. A little bit there in the central to northern mountains, a tiny bit, and then a little bit more right there in the second period. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it, and take care.